We were wildly overweight in stocks coming into year end, as you know, Scott. We've since dialed that back a little in, with the notion that, you know, we're going to be in this period of a lack of news flow for a little bit, but we do think this can continue. We think it's going to be a second half of the year story where we're going to see an economic acceleration or at least a normalization back to trend, back to trend growth from an economic perspective. If you get some progress on trade, I also think you can see businesses come back in, and that can be an accelerant. Consumer confidence has stayed really high. All right, Pete, what's going to matter most in the next quarter? In terms of the earnings themselves and in what they deliver? In terms of the market. Uh, well, I think, it, it, I think it does come down to, once again, everybody's going to be looking at the earnings and how they've been affected and what's happened over the last couple of months as we've gotten closer to this. And how, as the trade war, war goes on, how is that still affecting some of these companies? And I think the read-throughs are going to be just as difficult as they were before. But I still think we are in an economy that's better than people probably perceive it to be right now, Scott. And I can even say, uh, how about just looking at what we've seen just in earnings as recently as last night? If, if our economy is as bad as it is, why in the world is something like a Lululemon doing as well as they did here and as well as they did overseas? And oh, by the way, China's ha having all these problems, and yet they're killing it over there as well. <clears throat> so I think we're overplaying a little bit how bad things are. I'm not saying things are fantastic, and I'm not saying they're not slowing down. They are. But I still think where focus is going to be on fundamentals, and when you look at fundamentals, you look right now at a 2.4 yield somewhere in that. You and I talked about this yesterday. I look for stocks that are going to give me a yield, something close to that, that have a fundamental story and growth. I'd rather be in those stocks. Well, for every Lulu, I could raise you a FedEx. I could see your Lulu and raise you a FedEx. You, you, you could, right? but I mean, it, it depends what was that more you're doing Fed and where you're doing it. That's true, but let me ask you this. Is that more of a FedEx issue right now, or is that permeating around all the rest of the companies? I would say no. Mona, how uh, do you see it? Yeah, you know, uh, the S&P is now up 19% since de December 24th. Ideally, would love to see a pullback, some consolidation here. We may just not get it, though. Um, given what's happening, you know, we heard from the, the fund manager surveys earlier this year, not a lot of investment in equities, you know, not fully invested thus far. So any dip may be bought here. Mm -hmm. um, what we're looking at, though, is the second half of the year, as some of us has talked about, there is this a lot of walls of worry to climb, but that's the type of market that can do well. So we have to grind higher through the U.S.-China trade, through Brexit, through the China stimulus, and then perhaps through a second half consumer uh, almost rebound. Although, as Pete said, uh, consumers actually holding up pretty well.